today we are going to explore quite a few lesser known, as I almost get hit, by a cement truck. <laughs> Let's try that again. Today, that's the cement truck. Today we're going to explore, like I said, some lesser known brands. So we're going to try to get to Moreau Paris or Moreau Paris, uh, Joseph Duclos, Moynan, Delvo, the actual boutique. I feel like I'm missing one. If we can get into Goyard, even though I don't really feel like that's a lesser known brand. Maybe the model one. And I feel like there's one more. I'll have to look at my list. If there is, and you see it, then you'll know. I'm excited. So let's get going. Okay, so here is your Page. Just met Samir and he was lovely. This little bag is really cute. I have no idea what it's called. I will ask. It's got two compartments. A zipper compartment. It's really cute. Oh, and it does look like it comes with some kind of crossbody strap. So as much as I like this bag, I don't like where it hits. So this is their new so black. Fuchsia, which is so cute. Okay, so we've gotten to Joseph Duclos. So let's go in. And is there is there a different le are there different leathers? And in have the this one and we have the different colors. Uh, we have the three colors for this one. I have the coquelicot, the framboise like this, and the gray, light gray. This one. This one. I have three colors for this one for this one. Because this 
will not scratch as much as... Oh, the, uh, you have, the, the, the laser is different. Why is different? Because this one, the material, this is the cuir heritage. This is a natural timing. If you scratch, you keep only the, the, the cotton, the, the, the fabric in cotton, and you polish like this. I will show you with the, the laser. I will scratch, you can see, oh. if you want. These are very heavy. Just to see you, this is the same laser. This wallet has two years. <laughs> Look at why the color is like this. I scratch, mm -hmm. you can see. Voilà. Ah. I don't scratch. <laughs> is it navy, like a dark, like no, that? No, no, it's blue. I will show you. I will show you. Joseph Duclos, uh, basically, he was a, a specialist for the luxury leather. So he comes from the Jeff's city of Lectour. In 1790, they received the patent letter from the king Louis XV. So here you can see the fountain from the old manufacture, mm -hmm. as you can see. So, uh, uh, so with that, he, he, he do a lot of commerce uh, in the Royal Court of uh, Europe. Okay. Here we have a collection. So we call Diane Collection all that those bags Diane Collection in homage to the goddess right. Diana. Because mm -hmm. you know why she loved the, the she's a goddess of the hunt. Right. And so that's what this is for, right? Yes, and Louis XV Louis XV loves to hunt. Ah okay. that's why it's uh, the link. There is always a link between the the past and the future. Same for the perfume. We do perfume because in the past, in the tannery, the smell <laughs> wasn't good. Okay, yeah. so you, they used to have their own perfume, like lavender or incense, you know, each tannery. We do perfume as well. That's why, that's the link. Madame, she made the handman. As you can see, the, she made the handman. So what? You can see, she put the hand, on hand man the, it's not the machine, huh? it's the lady. Huh? Right. It's yes, lady. <laughs> it's really you. Let us show you, I'm trying to paint machine. It's possible to do a saddle stitch. Yes. Yeah. And what is this? Alors, this machine, Alors, look at, the first time, the, 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 the crocodile, huh? mm. The crocodile is like this, and to be like this, we put this machine. Ah, that's yeah. how it's shiny. Voila, okay. exactly. Ah. Look at it. So it's like a lacquer. Yeah, the, the, the crocodile will be like this. Ah. And you can touch it very fine. That is gorgeous. It's beautiful. And what is the price on that one? Uh, this one is 15,200. Oh, no, no, sorry, I don't remember. Uh, the price because it arrived yesterday, this bag.
Finally, we will go in tomorrow. Most of what I'm interested in here are their tote bags, which are really well priced. as a trunk maker, just like everybody else. This is sort of their version of the petite mall, but it's definitely heavier. Hello. And this is the large, which I'm trying on. This is the medium. That's the little tiny one. And the ones on the table are the small. Lisa and I totally forgot to wrap today's vlog so let's just go through and kind of throw some highlights in for you about what we saw today so obviously we saw a lot <laughs> I went into uh, Moina I went into Moreau I went into Joseph Duclos I went into Fur le Pas Fur et le Pas Le page. There we go. I, I think that's it. So I would definitely say I liked Fure Le Page's bags. Uh, I'm not sure I would get anything other than a daily battle tote. And since I kind of knew already that I was probably going to be getting one from Moreau Paris, uh, it just seemed like more money than I wanted to spend on a tote that I know I'm not going to use all that much. But I did like it. The guy in there, he gave amazing service. He was fantastic. Would highly recommend. And then going into Moina, I have to say I was not that impressed. And it wasn't that I wasn't impressed with the bags. It's just that the two styles or the, the style that I was really hoping to get, which was the Gabrielle Clutch, which is the one that's like the Kelly Pochette. The strap is just way too short. And it just, that was a no-go for me. And then the uh, Gabrielle in the BB size, I just, it was just kind of meh to me. So that, yeah. And again, I think that strap was a little short. The strap that was the best was actually on the Régent, which I'm not sure that I took video of. At this point, I don't really remember. But that had a longer strap, but I just don't like the look of that bag. I wish I could take the strap from the Régent and put it on the Gabrielle, on either Gabrielle, but preferably the pouch, but I can't, so whatever. So we left there. And then probably the biggest, not surprise, but the biggest wow to me, and I shouldn't have been surprised at all because I've heard amazing things about the brand and about their service and just everything about it is Joseph Duclos. I got to meet the creative director for the brand who used to be the creative director for Moina. And prior to that, he was basically at the top of Hermes as well. Really cool guy. And I to get to see, and you, you saw him when I was filming, and you got to see what they were doing down there because they were doing a press thing. So to see the woman, you know, stitching the leather and the guy putting like the sheen on the croc, just gorgeous, gorgeous leathers. They treated me so well. They hadn't, you know, they don't know anything about me. I think that's just how they treat everyone, which is amazing. And I got a few little, they gave me a couple little gifts when I left. It was so sweet. But 
Their leather is beautiful. They basically use Berenia or Heritage leather on most of their bags, which just smells divine. Uh, very, very tempted by those bags, I will tell you. I also got to meet the CEO. He was also there because it, they were doing like a press thing, so I don't think he's normally in the store. But yeah, I also got to meet the CEO, and who was also just lovely. So great experience, would highly recommend. If you are in Paris, it is the only boutique they have in the entire world. Definitely make some time to stop by. And then I went to Moro Paris or Moro Paris and looked at their totes as well. And yeah, I think, I think that was about it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying these Paris vlogs. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what did I show today that you loved. Let me know that in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you here I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. So if you can help me out with that, I would be so appreciative. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.